is going to be a huge haul. Um, just a whole bunch of literally random things. I've been going to a lot of flea markets and uh, garage sales this summer. And I've just literally been piling everything up in my garage because most of it's seasonal. I have a lot of Christmas stuff and a lot of Halloween stuff. And I knew I wanted to do a video, so i just been sitting off to the side, sitting off to the side. I've been putting this video off forever, but it's to that point where I need to get this stuff put away and sorted. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I was going to do this in different sections like Halloween stuff or craft stuff and things like that. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to throw it all in there together. I'm going to do the little stuff up here and I'm going to take it outside for the bigger stuff that I don't want to haul back and forth all around. I got a lot of blow molds and um, decorations and stuff for outside. So I was going back to school shopping for my kids, which is fun. Um, my youngest one hates to school shop. He doesn't really care what he wears or anything like that. He just didn't even want to go school shopping. And my teenager, he's all about shopping and things like that. So I did notice they had a lot of their Halloween stuff out, which is my downfall. I love fall. I love Halloween. And I absolutely love Christmas. So um, I did pick up some things, I guess, that was Halloween maybe that I shouldn't have, but I did. And then they had a lot of their summer end clearance stuff. Uh, also, 50% off, which was really cheap. I did pick up this, and it's just kind of, I don't know, just a weird lantern. Um, it does have like a little hanging thing here, and it's battery operated, and um, the battery's probably dead in this, but um, I just thought it was kind of cool just for outside. I might even keep it inside because I'm just a little weird like that, but I'm not sure, and it's an LED light, and this one was $13.98 and this was at Target. They had a lot of different lanterns and stuff like that. A lot of their summer end clearance stuff um, on sale. So I picked that up. That's the only thing I think I did pick up at Target. So I got that. Then I picked up this burlap cat. I normally wait for sales or something like that normally. Um, for my Halloween stuff because I do have a lot of Halloween stuff, but I didn't this year just because I don't know I just get sick of waiting sometimes so I did pick this up. It was at Big Lots and it was $20 And I don't know if I'm in frame, but it's just this big burlap cat and um, I don't know much more you can say about it. It's just a light up cat looks like this um, I will show you what it looks like actually lit up because I was carrying it up the steps and it fell out of the box that's just my luck. So I will just show you what it looks like out of the box and show you what it looks like lit up right here. Okay, so there is what that cat looks like lit up. I was thinking it was going to be white lights, but it looks like it's like a greenish yellow, but it's still cool. all over the place in this video. I might edit it together. I doubt it, but um, yard selling. I went yard selling and um, they have this thing called Dairy Days and there's just like hundreds and hundreds of yard sales. Like every single neighbor has one and they have it every year, but it's like the first weekend in August, but they're normally always really good yard sales. Like there's not junky stuff there or anything else. Like those people are like on point with their yard sales. They just always are. So I just found this random thing. I'm going to put um, notepads and like pens and markers and stuff in it, maybe in my kitchen, um, just like my grocery list or whatever. But this is what it looks like. It's just a little good grocery cart. So then the next yard sale that I went to, um, this lady, she was really crafty and she had like so much fun stuff and I did buy actually a lot off of her. Um, her prices were freaking amazing. Um, she had tubs and tubs and totes of these um, acrylic paint and she had like a... Uh, it was like a fanny pack that she had painted um, that she was actually using for the yard sale or whatever that she hand painted. But um, and she had like she she took me in her house and showed me all this furniture and everything that she painted. She was a really really good painter. These acrylic paints and they're acrylic paints, outdoor paints, and all kinds of paints. And they were fifty for a dollar. Um, like this one, you can tell it's not even opened, which is crazy. So my friend and I each got a humongous bag. Um, I seen this and this was at the same yard sale and she's like so many people bought that paint but nobody must have asked what this was and I knew what it was as soon as I seen it and it is this and it stands to here but it's, ah, stands here but it spins and what this is for is 
just to store the acrylic paint in there, which is really nice. And I figured if I was buying 50 of these acrylic paints, I was definitely going to buy something to store it in, which is really nice. And I have these wired little contraptions in my craft room, if you've ever seen videos on that. Um, so this will fit in there amazing. And this uh, little holder was $5. Next thing is really random, but I'm not going to tell you what it is because it is going to be an upcoming video. Um, it's going to be my Halloween costume. So I've been collecting these little stuffed animal cats, um, and I got a black and white one. And this isn't a cat, but I got this for on my Halloween tree. Um, it's just a Precious Moments little crow, which I thought was so cute. Um, but I'm just going to stick that on my tree when I decorate it for Halloween. But um, I have been collecting these cats, and that's going to be a DIY Halloween costume. So that will be coming up soon. Chain link kind of belt. I just thought it was cool. So I just picked that up. So I am obsessed with cats, and I'm staying with that theme. So I found this, and we were at the flea market when I found these, and they're just like recycled springs and little bolts or whatever for the feet. I just thought they were kind of cool. And I might repaint them because I don't know if I'm in love with them, like how they're painted, but um, which is just as cute. And there's just a whole bunch of springs or whatever. You could probably make these. This would actually pretty, be pretty easy. I don't know. I found um, this, which I thought was kind of just kind of cool, like a wooden, wooden star. Uh, ghost stakes which I thought just were kind of cool I really want to have like this huge Halloween party and um, I will have one of them this one of these years but um, I've been preparing my whole life for a Halloween party so in preparation for when that day happens little ghost sticks for my yard I really love them I love table runners or anything kind of centerpiece or anything for my table so I picked these up um, they had a yellow one, a burnt orange one, red, and green. And these are Better Homes, Better Homes and Gardens. But um, I bought all of these for a quarter, which is crazy. And I'm just going to set them in the middle of my table. And if you follow me and subscribe. I will do a house tour of how I decorate or something maybe like that for fall and Halloween and then Christmas. I think that would be fun. So, snowman, I thought it was super cute and I love snowman. That's what he looks like. I'll lay them out so you can see them a little bit better and then I'll just show you what they look like actually on the floor. But um, I'll hold this one up because it's a cat and I'm obsessed with cats. It looks like it's like hanging on the screen door, which I thought that was super fun like that and then it says welcome just welcome at the bottom so I don't know that's so cute okay so I will show you these flags that I picked up um I showed you this one but I just think this one's really cute it has like the plastic on there to look like the cat nails I just thought that was adorable and I paid a quarter for all of these which is crazy and the back of it looks like that. So it says welcome, right? And then I love Snoopy, so there's a fall one. It says welcome harvest. And a little Christmas tree. And then this little spring one. And then my favorite one is this one. I just thought this was adorable. And it's obviously it has lights inside of it. And it lights up. I thought that was adorable. And they gave me that one for a quarter as well, which is crazy. It was this church yard sale. So absolutely, that's probably one of my favorites. So yeah, that was my flag collection randomly. Just a little pumpkin with a little witch hat, and I just thought that was super fun. Just a little snowman light. And then to turn it on and off, it's like right here. You just push the broom then to turn them on and off. I thought he was cute. 
wand that's just like a lotus little flower. They have this candle in it, but it's whatever. Okay, Jay brought this home randomly for me one day. He found it at the flea market, which I thought that was kind of cool. And if you follow me on Snapchat or Facebook, I did upload a ton of pictures of um, maybe in there or whatever. Uh, but I stopped at Goodwill actually on the way home from my sister's because she lives way out in the middle of nowhere. And I was super excited to find this. I almost broke it actually when I picked it up because I didn't know the bottom wasn't attached to the top. Um, I'm not sure if this lights up or if it works yet because they didn't have any bulbs in it. But um, if it doesn't, I do have like just those little bulbs that you can click in there. So it's not really that big of a deal. But um, it's just like a little bow here. And then there's two little lights um, here that will just have bulbs in them. It's, um, I got it for $4.99. I don't know if you can read that price, but it's a pretty good price. Uh, so it is one of these. And I collect like these glass blow mold, like I don't even know what they are, ceramic, like old school um, Christmas decorations, like in your grandma's house, I guess. I don't know. But it's like a wreath, and it has those little bulbs. I don't know if you can tell all over it. Super cute. I was really excited, but it just sits down. I don't want to break it, my luck. just sits down on it like this. And when I picked it up at the store, like, I picked it up, and, like, the whole thing almost fell and I would have been really upset because it's super cute and um I don't know it just kind of put me in mind of something like would be my nan's house so it is missing some bulbs and stuff like that but nothing you can't buy on eBay surely and like I said I don't know how good these light fixtures are I'll probably switch them out just to be safe duck. I don't know. I just felt like he belonged to my pond because I have a couple other ducks just like him. So he's going to go outside. I'm like, okay, I'll take you outside now and show you my blue molds. Okay, so then I picked up these little bird cages and these are just like yard stakes. And they were originally $10 at Big Lots. I got them on sale for like 90% off. So I think I paid like 70 cents for these. Left and they just unclasp. And then you can put just a little candle in there. I'll probably put just a battery operated one in there or something. I'm not sure. But they're little yard stakes. Um, and then it came with these little birds. But they snapped off. So I'm going to have to... Maybe hot glue them on there or something. I'm not sure. Okay, and then back to the yard sale stuff. I have an obsession with snowmen. So I found these. I'm just going to stick them in the yard. We get a ton of snow. So just to kind of measure. Just to kind of measure how much snow we're going to get. Has a little measuring thing on there. Then I got this one too. He's missing his little nose. So I'm going to have to figure out something for that but it says let it snow and then you can measure how much snow you have. It's down here because I'm going to load them in the truck after I do this video but um, here's my little snowman guy. I absolutely love this. Um, these actually all work. They all light up which I was impressed. I thought I'd have to do maybe change the lights out in them but so far they're all lit up um he comes apart a little bit so I'm gonna have to they have them wired up a little bit so I'm gonna have to rewire them just to hold them together a little bit but um I love snowman so there's him and he lights up clear then I have this little guy and he lights up well, these all light up. Then I found more of these candles. And these candles are actually going to be a DIY. They're going to be Halloween candles by the time I get done. So make sure you subscribe and I will show you what I do with those. I got two of them. Then I got this little pumpkin guy. Then a little ghost with a pumpkin and a cat. So he was pretty cool. 
Then I got this candy cane. And then I've had these ducks actually all summer. I got them like the beginning of summer. But I want to get some clothes for them. Because I normally have those by my pond. So that was my blow mold collection. And I know the guy paid, the guy told me he wanted a quarter for this, which is crazy. But um, it looks like something was attached originally on it. I'm not sure. But um, the rest weren't more than $5, I don't think. So I'm not sure. So anyway, those are my new collections to my blow molds.